Hello everybody, welcome to a tutorial on how to make a steam engine in the Create Mod. I am Blue Clue and I am excited to take you through this process. Just like I said in the title, I want to make this a very simple machine. So I've done the most simple that I can think of. I have a little bit elaborated. So now that I've learned how to do it and I understand the science, I've made it a lot smaller and I will show you how to make a steam engine just like this and how to scale it up. In the hot bar down there is most of the resources that you're going to need. You're gonna wanna put down some of these blaze burners here. Now I know in survival Minecraft, this is gonna be probably your biggest challenge is getting these guys, uh, maybe the copper too, but not too bad. If you've already done survival Minecraft, you can figure it out. Next, you will want to put some fluid tanks on top here, okay? Now, this is actually possible to get this up and running with only this much of a fluid tank. I've tried other ways, I've tried doing it taller and stuff. This wide array is the best that I can find. And if you really need to, you can put fireplaces down here. The only thing is you can't scale this up afterwards with, with the fireplace. Next, you're gonna wanna put your steam engine. And this is a little bit tricky. You kinda have to, you see the little, uh, little floaty thing over here, look in that direction? Yeah, see, that's how you wanna set this up. You're also gonna need a wrench to get this fixed up, okay? So, blop, uh, blop, uh, there we go. I don't know. I maybe I was crouching. Uh, no. If you if you crouch, you break you break it. There we go. Oh, I see. You have to hit it from this side. Okay, so that's a thing. Yep. Okay, you're gonna. Yep. You just learn. I'm learning too. Then you're gonna want to put a large cog wheel right there, and this is kind of where I dug this pit right here. Now the important thing to know about this is it has to be an infinite water source. So we take the bucket. We do that. Now you can also do that like this. That's also, if you, as long as you're taking from this middle one right there, you'll be fine. But I like doing these. They just make me a little bit happier, but these are sometimes necessary for those tight situations. Next, you're gonna wanna put the mechanical pump. Now, I just stack them up like this and you do not need a pump inside the water. That was another thing that I ran into. It only needs to be right on the top. And with this, oh, actually, it needs to be kitty, kitty corner. Because a uh, log large cog wheel, and you see how those are interlocked? That's what you want to see right there, okay? Now you will take the wrench and point that upward. And then what you'll do is you'll put a little cog there and you are going to need a hand crank. So these are just kind of the, the side tools that I'm pulling out here. Now I like to connect the pipes like this, just straight over, angled in. And this is also something I like to do, just so I could see the water. You just right click it, don't shift, because shift puts it in your pocket. Now what you can do, and this will just get it right started, is you hold this down and you should see the water gauge. You see that in the corner over there, the water gauge went up and that means that this thing is started. You need to have these goggles on your head in order to see these stats. So that's another thing that you'll, you'll wanna be doing just so that you can check the status of these things, right? Cause over here, this has different stats. It could use more water, could use more heat, but that's what's cool about this contraption. The more heat that you add, the more water you're able to pull. So here's the stats. So this is 2,048 stress units. That's what the SU is. And look at this. This is using the whole 2,048 stress units, but just check this out. This is only using 128 stress units. So this actually is why we can expand this. Even at this small stage, we can already put some other steam engines and that takes 682, 682, 682, and this is still at 128. Now, let's see what it's like when we heat this thing up. We get our lava bucket. So the stress units go up a little bit, right? Because that's going up and uh, look at that. That's at 5,000, that's at 5,000, 5,000. And there's actually still more. We could put two more potentially steam engines on top of this. So you're looking at this like it's a system. This is your rig and you're looking at this as the center of the system, everything that goes out from it, that's, this is stress being used on the system and your arms are gonna be, how does this divide the amount of stress this whole system can take? The red bars, they tell you, okay, this is how much more size we could use for our best item, which is heat. So heat's doing really well. Water could use a little bit more. Size, we could use a little bit more too. All you need to do to increase the size is have four fluid tanks, pop, it does another one. And look, you've got more size. Uh, and look, uh, more stats, right? So this boiler just leveled up to level two. Uh, this one is 
they're they're a little bit different oh because this one has heat so the level is based on all of the factors heat water size all increasing you could put steam engines all over this thing look at this one two three uh four and that my friends is how you make a self-functioning steam engine and create mod